Okay, here is vlog nine about opening a bookstore, a used bookstore. Just happens that this is in Southern California. So this is my ninth vlog. I'm gonna go to the back to share with you <clears throat> uh, some, some uh, I was gonna say advancements, some developments, some progress that I have been making in the back, which I've been talking about in some other vlogs, other videos that I've been making. Went to the bathroom. I put this big box so you don't have to look at the toilet. Um, and there's going to be a loud fan. So hopefully you can hear me. It's really loud and obnoxious. <clears throat> That's something that hopefully we can fix. Hopefully you can hear enough of what I'm saying. So I've... There, there used to be... I've cleared out a lot of space. There used to be books stacked about up to here. About four or five other crates slash boxes. Probably five. As high as those are. And I've gone through those. There was other stacks here where that computer or that printer box is. Probably just going to end up getting rid of that printer box. Um, so we've made some progress and it's really awesome. <laughs> There's a lot more progress to make. As you can see, the books are spilling out of that little room in the back. There's a room back here that's pretty small. Like there's the electrical meter, which probably needs to be accessible. That's not great, uh, which is why we're going through all these books. And it's a tiny space, but it's a big enough space to where it can hold a lot of books, back stock. And so that's why I'm clearing this out. These are books, I'm gonna turn off the fan because that's absurd. These are books that were on the sales floor, whoops. And I had to move them in order to pull up the rugs, clean up the space, open it up, all that kind of stuff. So there's great stuff in here. I just found a book, a Hardy Boys book, first edition, probably first printing that I pulled out of one of these boxes that I'm going to list on Amazon uh, for a lot of money. And it sold for 300 bucks and $400. And there's one other copy going for thousands, but I will list it much more reasonable. But anyway, just as a motivation to me, <laughs> and there's more Hardy books there, Hardy Boy books down there to continue to go through these because there's probably some good stuff in here. And this is going to take months, but I've been doing it daily, chipping away. Today I spent about an hour and a half at it. Each morning, especially Monday through Wednesday before my other location opens on Thursday, I put about an hour to an hour and a half each morning into it. Uh, and I've really made some great progress. So that's good news. This is where the books that we're going to be putting out on the floor are going. Uh, and eventually, once I get through the bathroom, the stuff in the bathroom, then uh, I will sort these into boxes and crates and prepare them to go out on the sales floor. So we'll have lots of backstock, weeks if not months of backstock that we can rely on and pull from while we continue to add other new titles um, and sort of mix them in as we go along. So now I'm freeing up lots and lots of crates as I go through everything. I'm also accumulating a good amount of books to list on eBay. The reason why I'm not just listing them myself is because we are working on getting an eBay lister, which could be our current employee. Um, we're not sure yet, but we're working towards it. So I do want to have a decent amount that the person can start working with. So it's officially been two months of being open, uh, which is exciting. We you don't know this is our ninth blog about opening a bookstore here a used bookstore in it happens to be in Southern California we are about we're actually literally in LA County one of the last cities on the eastern eastern end of LA County uh, very old city and we uh, got this bookstore a couple of years ago but we finally opened it at the beginning of this year it's March, what is it, March 6th, 2024, and we opened it the first weekend of January. So January 5th, actually, is when we opened it. Uh, my wife and I decided, you know what, we cannot keep planning, planning for months. Let's just open it. Uh, and that's what we did. So that's where we are. And we found a really awesome uh, employee who's been doing wonderful job. <clears throat> We're only open two days a week, um, Fridays and Saturdays from 2 to 8 p.m. Sometimes we are opening earlier or staying open later on Saturdays, especially because there are events on almost every Saturday. Last Saturday, there was an event, um, which was what, March 2nd. 
not as many people were here. It came out to that event because there was a previous one. The, the previous weekend had a ton of people show up. Uh, and so there was just less. But anyway, that stuff happens. So we tend to stay open uh, sometimes later on Saturdays. One of the sort of one of the mountains we've been tackling, slowly tackling, which is what I talked about going through the books that were out here on the sales floor is also going through the books on the shelves, um, which we have not done <laughs> completely. We are still sort of picking through them, uh, certain ones, especially our new worker. She's been been doing a little bit of that as well while we're adding as many new titles as we can fit and um, as we can offer people. As an example of something that I did since the last vlog is I went through all of these shelves that are behind our checkout counter here. <clears throat> it was a bit of a mess back here, so I finally ended up uh, finishing this up the last couple of weeks and now all we have for the most part are high value items or unique interesting items so we've got some book collections up there um, some old school like we have an old school scrambled eggs super by dr seuss flash gordon um, this is a 1901 this one here 1901 shakespeare book lovers edition there's 36 volumes we're selling it for 120 bucks, so stuff like that. And there's some old, old books here. Uh, there's Atlantic Monthlies from the 1870s. Uh, so yeah, so as we get some cool stuff, um, there's this one from 1935, that one, which is 15 volumes. It's called Women's Institute of Domestic Arts and Science. That's a fascinating one. So all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, that's something that I worked on recently and finished off. Uh, we add new books here. So so basically, we are open. The last video I made, I talked about how it went in January in terms of the sales and said that I we had made enough sales to almost cover our workers' um, salary and uh, our workers' pay. And this second month, gross, we did uh, almost $200 more in February than we did in January. So that's definitely something that we're we're happy about because it's incremental progress, uh, and also we had better weeks. Uh, two the first two weekends of of uh, February, so the second and the third and the ninth and the tenth did better than our best week in the first month, which was funny enough the very first weekend we opened. Uh, but we've had two weekends yeah that have done better, a lot better, more than a hundred dollars more. Then we did that first weekend. So another thing that I did was I tallied up how much we've uh, we've made in the store in the first two months and how much we paid our employee. And we almost covered it. <laughs> Close. Uh, it's about $140 short, which, you know, is if you were thinking I was going to say $20 short. No, it's still you know not quite there. But um, we are really happy that we just opened the doors and we've been able to uh, find someone to work here who is doing a great job, uh, loves bookstores, knows a lot about books, and also a huge, huge benefit, which we did not know, is that she's very artistic, very creative, and has a good imagination. So she's able to do stuff here that uh, we can't do. <laughs> so it's an added benefit. You never know if you hire somebody what kind of skills they might have. Uh, that will come out later. So that's been a big, uh, a big benefit. Some interesting, uh, something interesting that I've noticed is that when people walk in the store, um, well, two things. When people walk in the store, they tend to walk. So the store is pretty long. They come in through the front door. Uh, the, the checkout counter is right there. We have some books there, some manga and whatnot, and all kinds of sci-fi and fantasy. But then as you walk in. A lot of people, for some reason, they go right to the back. I don't know why. Maybe because it's kind of like cozy in the back with a... Here we have a lower ceiling and then it opens up back here and it's kind of tucked away. And I think maybe people want to be away from where we are, either if I'm working or my wife or our employee. Uh, and they kind of get tucked back here and they look at books back here. So one thing we started doing is putting newer books, some new releases on these shelves up here as well as over here new this week uh, so that hopefully they can see that now something else that our worker has noticed which I asked her what are people buying 
the newer books that we put out or the older stuff. And she's like, wow, well, they're kind of doing both and buying stuff that I never thought people would buy, which I love. I love that, you know, you might see a book on the shelf and say, oh, who's going to buy that? And then suddenly someone buys it. <laughs> so that's always fun. Um, also, uh, what do you call it? Also, interestingly, she, she was saying that it's funny that people seem to not look at the new this week new releases section they tend to go to the particular genres or types of book they're look books they're looking for and then they'll pull that book that used to be in the new releases uh, section and they'll pull it out of that particular you know let's say poetry or biography oops they'll pull it out and then buy it versus finding it in the new releases so i thought that was an interesting observation <laughs> which I don't know if that means we shouldn't have a new this week section or if maybe we should only put out a certain amount of books there, maybe half of the new releases and then sprinkle the other ones throughout. We'll see as we evolve going forward, but it's good in any business, um, especially one that has you know a lot of inventory like a bookstore, is to figure out what the best way is to display, organize, <coughs> and help people find your books uh, or your items for sale and so we're still like these are all new here there's just not much room like this is a super popular one that we put out oops recently these are some really good one this one here it's very popular on eBay um, a lot of these that we've put out recently so you know someone will come along and pull it from the shelf and probably buy it that way so that's been uh, been interesting to try to figure out there's just lots of new stuff that we're you know in this retail space in this location trying to evolve into and figure out the other thing that we did is this is a frame for a chalkboard and our worker took the two removable chalkboards out you can see the frame there the wooden frame and she took them home to use chalk obviously <laughs> chalkboards to put some cool messages on there that we're gonna end up putting them out here in the sidewalk out in the front to grab people's attention. So it's kind of humorous stuff, that messages that we're gonna put related to books and bookstores and reading. <clears throat> and then the other thing we're gonna do is these two boxes are holding our new signs that are gonna go up here, right up there. It's not gonna be the same one as in like a piece of wood, it's just gonna be vinyl that we are going to <clears throat> put on either side and then display it that way. Here it is, here's our logo, which is based on my son doesn't exactly look like him, but uh, it's 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 based on him. And then five ten books, your local bookstore, established two thousand nineteen. That's it. And I think it looks pretty cool. So we have two of these. We're gonna have one on either side of the sign outside. We're gonna zip tie them together with the grommets, the zip ties, and the grommets that are there with the holes, and have a new sign. That'll be awesome. So that's the update. It's been exciting. Um, it's gonna be a constant evolution as we figure out. Um, figure out how to, how to set up the bookstore and the books that people are looking for. And we keep on getting more people on our newsletter. That's great. We're going to paint that little chunk there and put a, some sort of message there as well, that, that wall outside. So still lots of, lots of things to go, lots of uh, changes to make. Um, but we are, <laughs> it, it's, it's the potentials here and people overall, the, the reception has been positive especially from people that used to come to this bookstore in its previous reincarnation or its previous um, ownership. And they're happy to see it open. So I think that that's something that's going to be going on for a couple of years because this store was here for a dozen years. Uh, you know, it has a long, long, our customer base going way back. So uh, that is something we're going to, we're hearing almost every day that we open. Another thing we're going to be experimenting with is testing out opening another day we might try thursday another thing that we are considering trying is opening earlier to test out if it's worth being open during lunchtime because there are so to our right over here there's a there's a restaurant that's like a bar and grill <clears throat> and then to our left a couple stores down is a big jamaican restaurant and then there's other st uh, restaurants sprinkled around there's a mexican one across the street so People do come down here to have lunch, um, and that's something that we want to experiment with as well to see if it makes sense to be open maybe from 11.30 to, you know, going forward kind of a thing. So 
So we'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in for our next installment of Opening a Bookstore. <laughs> see ya.